GT Sport and controversy. It's never far away from each other, is it? So King Russ uh, called me out of the race. Uh, that was some clean driving. Uh, Bono, my tyres are gone from Medi. Yeah, that is understandable completely. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for the clean race, King Russ. Um, so what exactly happened? Well, what's up guys? I'm Chris Doughty, aka Doughtonator. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a daily race C for you here at Catalonia Group 3, a very common combination for GT Sport. And we're going to line up 7th on the grid with a pretty okay qualifying time. Um, I have since improved that time, but um, it's not too bad. It's a very challenging race. Uh, tire wear is incredibly high. Um, and for the race, we're going to go in the Peugeot RCZ. From what I understand, it's got a pretty good tire wear. Um, now this race was a difficult race uh, as you know from the start of the video a little bit of controversy in the race uh, and we'll get to that one but uh, as, as always I like to race fair I like to race clean I want some good strong battles um, but I want everything to be fair um, and with every driver I race I, I will always approach it with uh, ultimate respect if, if you're racing we, with me uh, if I'm racing behind you I'm going to try my best to never bump you from the rear never do a block pass on you and never really get uh, aggressive unless you start to treat me that way but let's see how things progress from here so off the line we're going to start on the medium tires medium and soft tires are both required um, and the soft tires are fast but they don't last very long at all so we're going to start on the mediums a lot of other drivers also seem to be starting on the mediums and uh, we've got SCK Tailsy in front of us, a very fast driver, uh, often in the top 50 in the uh, GT Sport daily race uh, time trials. And we're just starting to close in the back of him right now. So I guess his tyres aren't quite up to temperature yet. Uh, we're looking to race forwards. We have the French driver behind us in a uh, Ford GT concept, uh, which surprised me really. I didn't expect to see that car um, doing very well uh, this week, um, but it's, it's going to surprise you as the race goes on. Um, so we're going to run a little bit wide. Is that wide from Tailsy? Um, it seems to have got away with that one. I thought that might have been a penalty. Into the big, bre big braking zone, into the hairpin corner, and some battling ahead. So that's going to bring them back to us. Uh, and we're going to look to be racing forwards now, trying to figure out who's on what tyre strategy. Um, and it could be uh, mediums for the whole of the field. No one's really getting away at the front so we're going to start to bunch up a little bit now um, being very cautious not to bump any drivers ahead and we're going to go over these curves and we're going to get on to the main straight now um, the driver behind the French driver behind is closed in uh, we've got a bad exit through that last uh, chicane god that last chicane at Catalonia I hate it it is just so awkward I really wish they would use a different track layout but the French driver is to our inside uh, we're going to go side by side in the braking zone. I'm going to be last of the late breakers. I know this RCZ is good on the brakes. And we're going to just sweep around the outside of that French driver. Um, that is going to be a feature of this race. Uh, late braking into turn one. Uh, using the advantage that the RCZ has on the brakes. Um, but this French driver in that Ford GT is really threatening us. And it's to the inside again. But we've got him on the brakes once more. Um, a little bit wide now. Trying to keep it in the track limits. And we're going to get that done. Uh, and we're going to go into the braking zone again. Hot, uh, late on the brakes once more with this RCZ. Problem is now I'm starting to lose the pack ahead. And I'm racing in my mirrors rather than racing ahead. Um, this is not what you want to be doing. Um, but this French driver is putting me under immense pressure. And that's wide. That is, is that going to be a penalty? As the French driver is also going to make a mistake behind. And we have got a penalty. Track limits penalty at that corner. Damn track limits. Uh, as we're going to get passed by um, the Lexus and also passed by the Ford GT. We're going to get on the brakes uh, and just get alongside that Ford GT. Put my car in a place where he can't fight back with me. Uh, and it's an elbows out battle now. Um, let me know in the comments below all the way through this race. Uh, if you think any of these moves was unfair. Um, I actually really enjoyed this race. I wouldn't say I've fully got my mojo back after last week's uh, disappointment. Um, I'm still really struggling for just a little bit of pace here and there. Um, but it certainly was an enjoyable race to go side by side with a lot of these drivers. Um, so we've held off that challenge um, for now. But we do have a half second penalty to serve um, in the next penalty zone. A penalty for a driver ahead. Um, that's going to be useful for us. But we are starting to slip back through the order. 
uh, late on the brakes into turn one final downshift into second gear and just bring it to the apex uh, third gear on that apex for that left hander and then we're going to hang uh, third gear all the way around this long sweeping uh, right hander which absolutely destroys the tires um, in this one i think i'm going to go for a pit stop on lap four um, i want to switch those soft tires as early as i can and get an undercut on as many drivers as possible so the a French driver in that Ford GT seems to be just uh, holding station one second back now. Um, my thoughts at this point is that maybe he started on the soft tyre and that soft tyre is now starting to degrade and uh, my medium tyre is going to have a uh, better pace. And we're going to get a little bit of a slide there through that corner. Um, just want to make sure we don't get another penalty for track limits. Um, and we're going to go through this uh, right hander so difficult to keep it in the track because we're going to serve our penalty and what's going to happen now we've got some drivers closing in very quickly into this braking zone and we're going to survive that attack once more a bit deep on the brakes as does the spanish driver ahead um but the the goal for me there was just to stay with my nose ahead of the drivers behind so that's going to put me back under pressure from that french driver a uh, great driving so far from the french driver i've got to say um all i was thinking about was behind it was very difficult to really uh, get a break here so into this final chicane god awful final chicane um, it just feels so awkward clattering over the curtains uh, medi with the pit stop already that is why he called the bono my tires have gone he's got a cone flying into the shot there um, so medi is going to go for a massive uh, undercut on these drivers in this race and the ford gt is going to close in on us we'd go slightly defensive but not defensive enough and get on the brakes late late super late we're going to go side by side into turn one i could see he was there we're going to keep the inside for this corner here but he's going to run it around the outside and what a fantastic move there from the french driver and um, i tried to defend that but he just too strong on that um uh, side by side maneuver so fantastic move from the french driver uh, and now we're going to try and hook into the slipstream of the french driver i think this is going to be my pit lap um, and at the time of the race i thought that the french driver was on the soft tires certainly after pulling a move like that on me um and that ford gt i don't really think i've ever driven that car so um perhaps i need to give that a try I, again let me know in the comments below if you think that's a good uh, car for this track um but it certainly surprised me and he's ranked 19 in this lobby so um not the highest uh, not particularly high rank for this particular lobby um, but he's certainly got some pace and he's gonna just he's just got pace on me uh, it's starting to get me we are in the slipstream now but this rcz doesn't seem to have particularly good top speed so we're gonna get on the brakes now closing in just slightly missing the apex um, but we're gonna go to hopefully keep in line and follow this driver uh, through this sequence of corners a little bit wide there from the frenchman but he's going to get that cut back and get himself to a late apex we're going to run in the gravel and just about survive that one a little bit wide not sure the tires are dirty or not into the god awful hateful chicane we just clatter over the corners and it is a pit lap for many drivers including myself and the frenchman so a lot of drivers now pitting this is the golden uh, time to pit and everybody's on mediums i was hoping there'd be some soft runners there that i was racing with but it seems everybody's got same pace and medium tires for everybody and we're now going to run six laps to the end on these soft tires it's a very long pit stop i think you lose about 25 seconds all in when it comes to this pit stop the cars are having in the box now this race asylum uh excellent livery there from uh jp um the race asylum rcz and we're out of the pits now soft tires for every driver exiting the pits now uh, and we're not really going to make much time on anybody else we've got uh king mini king is uh, approaching from behind so i don't know if he's had an early pit stop or a big error in the race um but we've just about got that gap to mini king ears so um i think we'll be okay there but even after that pit stop the french drivers he's beat us out the pits now that's a much bigger gap than i entered the pits with i don't know if he's got a better pit crew than i've got but yeah, let me know in the comments below it, he's definitely gained some time in that pit stop now I don't know what I can do to improve that that pit speed, um, but it, it is what it is. Let, let's continue on. So we're running in 13th position. Uh, other drivers will need to pit um, if drivers are starting on the soft tire. They may go a little bit longer into the race, or they might go for the five and five strategy. So um, let me know how you're getting on in these races this week at Catalonia. Um, is this your favourite race this week, and what is your favourite strategy? 
if you are enjoying this video so far hit that like button consider subscribing if you haven't already um, we are over 1000 subscribers which is absolutely unbelievable stuff um, so a big thank you to every subscriber we've had on the channel so far uh, as a lot of drivers go to the pits now so there's a lot of drivers doing the five and five strategy uh, pitting on the on the medium tires and they'll be changing to the soft tires as we go down the main straight so we're going to go into the uh, awful bus stop chicane for the fifth time and we are going to get through that roughly okay um, and we've got drivers exiting the pits now on these soft tires we're going to come down the main straight now to complete lap number five um, and there will be drivers exiting the pits now so we're going to see how this one's going to play out uh, we're running in 11th position right now um, and there are drivers exiting the pits now so into turn one uh, a lot of battling ahead it seems um, we have uh, King Russ now in uh, 12th position behind us uh, he'll start to feature later on in this video and it's probably the reason you're watching this video um, so we will get to that very soon uh, so lap number six um, gap to the leader 13 seconds um, which is quite a significant amount but uh, the top uh, few in this race had a significant race pace. Um, it's why daily race C is, it, it can be quite difficult. Race pace versus uh, qualifying pace can be very different. I qualified in the Audi R8, um, but I'd never ever do that for the race car. Just tyre wear on that car is not going to work out particularly well. So uh, in front of us now in 10th position, the Spanish driver, uh, we saw him earlier on as yellow flags ahead. What's going to happen there? Um, and it looks like uh, Kefren GT has had an error so uh, that's going to bunch up the field now we're going to look to the inside to see if there's anything that can happen here and that means Spanish drivers gone wide so we're going to capitalise on that distracted by uh, the rejoin uh, from Kefren um, and we're going to get that position done that Spanish driver could have been on medium tyres um, so we're going to try and race fours now not try and think about who's behind us let's try and look forwards and uh, progress through the field um, that's probably the best chicane we've had this race so far um, and onto the straight now a little bit of run steer but we keep it in the track limits uh, and we just don't quite have the slipstream from the drivers ahead barely maybe we do um, but either way we looks like we're getting a break from the spanish driver behind uh, on the brakes into turn one down to second gear just trailing to the apex and then we're going to get up to third gear as we exit this uh, left hander all the way through this long tire killing right hander and we're going to try and catch up with Kefren GT uh, fast driver he was qualified right near the front of this race and obviously an error through um, that fast right hand corner has dropped him down the order but uh, cars battling ahead now there could be some strategy difference uh, with these drivers and hopefully they'll be battling and then bringing uh, themselves back into striking distance for myself so it looks like up to fifth position ahead there uh, top three i think are away and uncatchable uh, through this difficult left hander uh, just getting the car stay in track limits there is very hard work uh, slightly annoyed we had that penalty early on um, but we managed to serve that without too much uh, disruption um, down these straight now looks like the oh the french driver in that ford gt looks like he had to serve a penalty at some point and he's he's lost a considerable amount of time uh, unlucky for that french driver um i had a great battle with him early on and it, it's a shame he got that penalty he was running really good at the front but it does mean now um that we have a shot at coming back on this french driver uh Kefren gt has uh, passed him and he's going to start battling with the driver's head he's get a bit of swaz off that curb um, and we're off on the gravel and we managed to keep hold of that one uh, that was almost a crash um, but we have just lost touch with the drivers ahead um, and lap time wise we're doing 44.9 uh, as our best which is a little way off where we need to be um, but I just don't think my race pace is there on these race C's recently um, and it just comes down to practice um, when you've got daily race C with the fuel load compared to qualifying you actually need to practice race C you actually need to practice race pace you need to practice the different tires um, and although I did do a um, uh, a practice lobby uh, oh, that was a bit of a move there I didn't quite see what happened let, let me know in the comments below if that was an, an aggressive move is it gonna go three three wide um, and we're gonna just back off these drives give them a little bit of space they deserve as they're going to go battling to the French driver to the inside of Kefren GT 
Um, is he going to go for the extra pass? And it looks like he's not going to make that one there. A little bump into Kefren GT. We all get a bit bunched up, uh, but it's all good. We're all through that corner successfully. Um, the Ford GT is on the flashes there. He's going to go. We're going to get the opportunity to get to the inside of that Ford GT. Is Kefren going to get a penalty from that? A little bit wide, exiting the corner, uh, but he's going to get away with that one. All the time here, we are losing time behind these drivers. Uh, they are all going at it, going side by side. Uh, not the most efficient way around the racetrack, and that's going to back us up into uh, our friend King Russ. Um, and this is where we're going to start to have some problems. Being very respectful of these drivers ahead now, there's no point making a send. Um, they're all racing each other, and we are trying our best to um, just capitalize on any mistakes they might make ahead so we got another bad drive off that last corner and um, i'm just not really feeling that last chicane as you can probably tell by my negativity towards it but we do have king russ in our slipstream now um but we're going to go to the outside we're not going to defend this one we're going to be late on the brakes um and we're going to get that one done he's, he's just going to get rear quarter just pushes out the way that's that's one one move i'm not happy with uh, if you check that back in the radar he was a long way back that that really wasn't that's not i don't like to see that anyway let's keep racing forwards now uh, we're going to try and defend to the inside um and we're going to just park the car on the apex not allow a cutback and then we're going to try and race forwards now to get in close into the back of the drivers ahead we know we've got pace and onto the brakes now and looking on the radar king russ has just pushed as wide yeah you know what the, these are the things I like to race fair, but if you're going to race me like that, just don't don't expect me to just roll over. Expect to have, uh, expect to get it back basically. So we're going to get massively in the slipstream of King Russ. Um, huge braking zone at the end of this straight. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. We're going to go for a big boy dive, and we're going to get off the brakes and just roll it to the apex. A slight touch there, um, but we're going to get that move done. And on the radar. He just spins, gets rotated, and completely spins out. Let's take a look at that series of events again. That is why you're here, after all. So, into turn one on the brakes. We've got him done by a long way on the brakes, but he's just going to touch our rear quarter and run us wide. Uh, not happy with that one. Um, that's going to overheat my tyres and just put me in a compromised position. So, Again, we're losing time to the cars ahead. We're not racing forwards. We're not making good race pace. Um, so we're going to defend this one. He's going to go to the outside. And I'm going to get on the brakes and just park the car on the apex of the corner. Make sure I exit tight to not allow a cutback. Um, we're both on the same tyres at this point, And we're going to get on the brakes into this corner here. And he's going to go for a big dive. And, well, he's going to run as wide. In my opinion, there's no way he's making that corner if I wasn't there. He used my car to rotate uh, I get on the flashes, not happy with that move. Um, so if if he's going to race hard, then he should expect hard racing in return as we're going to get in the slipstream of that uh, Aston Martin <laughs> down this straight here. Um, and you're going to go, we're going to go for a big boy send from a long way back. And we're just going to ease off the brakes, just run it to the apex and just push him a little wide. Plenty of room there, but he actually spins on the curb. Um, now, let me know what you think of that in the comments below. And now we're going to watch it back from his viewpoint into turn one. Um, you can see not much overlap there. Uh, not pleased with that one. Let me know what you think of that one. Um, and then we're going to go uh, defensive into this next corner here. Um, he's going to look to the outside. And well, look to the inside first of all. Look to the outside to try and get a cutback. Now, I like what he's doing here. It's good driving. He's searching for... Um, a, a, a way past but it's it's this corner here that i take most offense at and straight to the apex and well there was half a gap there but i actually i, I ran wide because i carried too much speed into the corner and he braked even later than i braked um so yeah the contact at the corner pushing me wide not happy with that one um so this is the return move at the end of this straight here um, and we're going to see this crash happen on the corner exit so uh, we're going to go from a long way back send it to the inside um, small bump on the apex of the corner there and yeah he's just he's lost it on the curb um, I don't think that is my fault he's span round 
Um, yeah, for sure, it was a strong move into that um, into that apex, but I think the spin was not through a result of my actions. <laughs> As always, guys, let me know in the comments below. I, I love reading the comments, positive, negative, anything like that. Let me know exactly what you think. Um, I always like to improve as a driver, whether that's through cleanliness, speed, racecraft, aggressiveness. Um, I'm always lo looking to improve. So we're going to start the last lap now. And well, pretty much nothing happens, really. We we're going to not have enough tyres to race forwards. Uh, we're going to maintain the gap behind. Um, but I think maybe the strategy for this race should have been to go one lap longer on those medium tyres to give it a five and five. The problem being that other drivers around me pitted uh, on lap four, which really forced me to pit. I, I can't allow them to get too much of an undercut because as we've seen from all the battling in this race, uh, overtaking at Catalonia is very difficult. Uh, track position is key. So I think I would happily take um, a poor last lap, a, a difficult to drive car on its tires for the last lap um, and get track position rather than really trying to force a move uh, on the last lap uh, with fresh tires so let me know what you think let me know if uh, what strategy you've been going with for race c this week um is we're almost going to get almost going to put a pass on that um uh, yes <laughs> spanish driver that's it spanish driver uh, rank six in this lobby um he's also suffering with tires um but yeah i think oh we're gonna make a big mistake there yeah it, it's a tough race I, I i've only done one race so far this week um trying to find my mojo i actually really enjoyed this race um bumping and barging all being said um but yeah l let me know what you think of this race we're going to bring it home in ninth position so if you have enjoyed the video like the video if you do dislike the video hit dislike it, it's your choice it, it gives me feedback as to whether you like something or dislike something uh, also consider subscribing uh, hit the bell to get notified of other video uploads we make um, and we'll catch you in the next one